Yeah, so much for uh, Ben getting his uh, hoodie back. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this here, and uh, I guess the closest to my channel will ever get to a Spider-Man. Uh, no more, but for Ben fans. Yeah. Anyway, hey everybody, this is uh, Retro Kid with Jakar Reviews, doing my thoughts of... Yeah, what even is Dark Web at this point? Um, this is my first retro editorial for the year, and more or less my thoughts on the finale of Dark Web than uh, it's the whole thing as a whole. Uh, for those who are coming after my Fox Mocking Reviews, spoilers, this is my room, just like you know now, and, um, I'm gonna... I guess if I ever do New Year's resolutions, I think that the goal for this year now is to have, like, a more neat bed if I'm gonna have stuff in the background. Anyway, <clears throat> that aside, um, also, uh, another reason why I took forever to do another, uh, video is because my pop sock that I usually use as a stand, stand for, the, for the iPhone, uh, finally cave, so that's not good, so, um, getting replacements aside, uh, technicals, uh, what do I think of Spider-Man Dark Web? To say I was rooting for a decent ending so I could bring back all the Marvel Legends figures to do my, you know, usual figure reviews with it, um, kind of not happening in the cards. Yeah, this event was that uh, forgettable. I mean, bad would be nice. Um, I think I said this when I was, re or when I was reading it the first time around, is like, it feels pointless. Something about this just feels like a pointless endeavor. I feel like it's an editorial mandate to just have an event while being, like, in the late holiday rush kind of deal that just dragged out longer. Not as long as the Clone Saga. I will give Nick Lowe this, new editor-in-chief for Marvel. You didn't drag it on like the Clone Saga back in the 90s. I'll give you that at the very least. But, oh my god, everything about Kane. Sorry. Where was even Kane? Well, let's start, let's start with there. Where was Kane? Uh, sorry in advance, this is turning to more into a rant, so I'm going to highlight as much as I can. Um, And by highlight, I mean the only good thing I'll say about Dark Web is, one, it's short, thank god. Also, um, yeah, if you had to read the tie-ins for whatever reason, for out of morbid curiosity, uh, stick to just the X-Men tie-ins. Um, honestly, on Maddie's half, she got her ending, like, right out of the gate, and Ben was just stubborn to be like, um, no, everything was better, like, like, he was really devolving into, like, Superman, board, Superboard Prime, kind of like, everything was better without my memories, kind of being, and like, dude, wasn't the whole point of you getting these memories, and what was with the devil fruit? I know that's, like, probably gonna uh, gonna be a One Piece joke. I know, I just realized that that anime adaptation is coming out pretty soon. Netflix-wise later this year. So, my bad in advance to those, to One Piece fans. Please don't murder me in the comments. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, where, are we, where do we even start with Hallow's Eve? Um, yeah, it's supposed to be Ben's uh, love interest back in the 90s, Janie. She was a big deal in, in Beyond, and now is basically the most, I guess, great value or dollar store knockoff, um... Hobgoblin we've gotten years, which is saying a lot, because Hobgoblin also came back in the, uh, new Zeb Wells, uh, Peter run, and uh, honestly, this feels like a filler arc that took way too long to finish. I know it was only out from, like, December to now, uh, early February as of this recording, but it's a lot, and for all the slight retcons or the slight fixes and other people's tie-ins, they took the money and run, like, even in the Venom book, um, I know, um, Eddie's going through a godhood thing, and I think Dylan took over as a street-level, um, Venom for New York, and long story short, uh, apparently he's, uh, basically being a time traveler, basically just going full, gal like, like, you might as well tell me he's Galifrey and he got two hearts, like, in a freaking time, time lord kind of sense, he's just time lording it, uh, throughout the Marvel timeline, and apparently the end goal for that run is to go up against whatever future versions of, like, Eddie's supposed to be, because I think he's supposed to be a character called Bedlam going down the road, and apparently Bedlam kicked off early in this event and just took the money to run. Also, another pointless uh, tie-in that I don't even know was a thing was Ms. Marvel. Yeah, Kamala was in this, and all I figured out when I was reading the final issue is that, oh, she was supposed to just link up with uh, Gold Goblin. Yeah, for some reason, Nicola really wants to make Norman a hero a lot longer than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be for this event, but I think he just wants to make a full run with it. Um, I could be wrong if it's Zorowski or somebody I, I know. Uh, oh, and the Chris, I think it's the Chris Chatwell, uh, Iron Man run, uh, writer. He is going to be, uh, doing that, which, if anything, is a good character study of how far, uh, Norman has come with all the mistakes he's done as, as Green Goblin going into his hero run. They're not shying away from what he did, which is good. Um, I just wish I didn't figure that out with this event. I feel like I should have figured that on the main book, and I think that the main book was supposed to end that a little better because it wasn't that the whole point of the main book is that Peter gets picked up by Osborne Industries, a la basically Parker Industries, or basically 
the Peter version of uh, Superior Spider-Man, if I want to put that bluntly. But, yeah, another thing I haven't really come to peace with is Chasm, what uh, Ben's been calling himself the last couple of issues throughout this event. And say what you will about the first version of the costume, it was okay, and for the purposes of myself in this vlog, I'm going to leave the second version of that um, costume, uh, probably one of the old uh, moral news or probably future, uh, I guess, solicitations for the final half of this event, because you can tell me that Demon Chasm is the better costume. It's not. I, I, I know, say what you will about, like, the first version of the costume that kicked off, you know, the Dark Web event. Ten years down the line is going to be basically an inspired Man costume. I'm almost certain now, given uh, the hype for uh, Insomniac Inspire Man 2, is definitely going to be a costume going forward. Um, as uh, For, like, character options or probably DLC. Another thing I haven't noticed lately, I have no clue what um, Black Hat was doing with um, Mary Jane. I think that was more elusive of, like, what Peter did that led up into his main book uh, uh, for the Zeb Rose run. But other than that, that's kind of where I am. I mean, I started off hot with his rant, but uh, now going to this editorial, it just kind of ended at a story that ended in why. Why did Ben need to be evil again? Why is this more reprehensibly worse than he did when he was Jackal, or hell, even worse than he was doing in, um, the, I forgot the writer's name, but when he was in Vegas. Um, I'm bummed, but I'm not as bummed as Synth Voice Network. Um, I don't talk much about smaller YouTubers with myself. Um, He's pretty big now because he's actually a really good voice alike of um, the PS4 Spider Man. Um, so I highly recommend his channel. He did like at every deaths of uh, Ben, but um, he had a couple of spirited rants also about the end of Dark Web. And more or less, um, I feel like this is going to be a thing for a while. I know this is, I guess, in editorial's case, Ben's first attempt at being a true villain with a true beginning, middle, and end. And another cardinal rule, I think, as uh, uh, Scott Spider fans have pretty much realized, other than the mis the, the, the disappearance of uh, he who must not be missing, Kane wise. Um, yeah, it turns out um, he didn't get back the hoodie. Which, I mean, I, at this point, I kind of was at peace with that. Him knowing he's not going to get the hoodie at this point, he's not going to be back as like a Scott Spider anytime soon. But he also didn't die. Uh, this is going to be spoilers for the last couple of pages of us uh, uh, Dark Web finale issue one. I don't know why their finale is its own issue now. That's on you guys. I don't know, you know, just blame Matt Morrow on the toil, honestly. But, um, yeah, so, th like I said, Madeline Pryor is the clone of, uh, I think Jean Grey. I think she was a huge X-Men character who had what kicked off um, Inferno in the 80s. And, like I said, she already got her ending in the tie-ins. So, all she was really doing was trying to convince Ben, which never really worked, to the point where... Okay, we can't stop Limbo, but we can turn it into an embassy in New York, which at this point I'm okay with. I know it's a weird subplot that's gonna not go anywhere probably down the road, but honestly, as world building goes, it's probably the most world building Marvel's gotten in years as far as like showing stuff in the background, seeing weird stuff in just New York in general. And as a New Yorker, I'm like, eh, I could kind of buy it as an embassy. I don't know. Also, um, Ben's gonna be staying there for a while. Um, this might be a bit of a political uh, reference to somebody who actually was stuck in Embassy for a while. My apologies to that guy in advance. Please leave him in the comments down below. The guy is literally blanking my name ever since I uh, read that half of the uh, final half of the story. And, um, yeah, the King Chasm costume, uh, circling back to what he was looking like before he got depowered back to his regular costume. Uh, if you told me Tom McCrawler came in for a quick bit and just made a demon version of it, I, I kind of believe it. I would believe it immensely, honestly. Um, and for Hallow's Eve and Janie's case, it was just, like, a lot of Halloween, uh, masks, like, morphing into, like, different costumes, different, like, monsters and stuff that she was just using the power of. Nice concept, one problem. Why? I, I know she was, like, a person that was, like, going undercover and stuff like that, but, like, that doesn't represent, you know, cosplay for sake of cosplay to turn into Halloween power. I don't know. I don't know. And, yeah, like, as you can see from this, like, I tried here in my video, um, yeah, it, it, the more I try questioning it, the more I try to get angry at a thing, I, I'm, I squint and I go, but why? And that's kind of where I am. I'm neither mad, I'm neither depressed, I'm neither anything. I'm just, I'm just upset. I'm just upset and disappointed, honestly. I'm disappointed where it went. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to the main book-wise. Um, I feel like Zeb Rolls took way too much time, um, getting back to his mystery arc with, uh, Peter, for, for figure out what he did. Um, I also just realized these books have been monthlies, uh, well, more monthly and a half kind of vibe. 
um, given how big this event was supposed to be. It ended up more as an X-Men store as time went on, and even in the X-Men half, it wrapped up faster than the Spider-Man half, which is never good. Um, should you read this? Um, if it's at a discount, um, when the tie-ins are all together as, a, like, a, a, a full volume, yeah, go ahead. Um, again, like I said, please get a discount. I know the $50 it sounds nice for the whole story, so you don't have to, like, go rush into the stores and get it, but, like, I don't know if it's at, like, a sale at your local comic shop for, like, 20 or 30 bucks. Go ahead. I'm not gonna be mad at it. Um, and that's my overall impromptu thoughts and review. If I had a time to review story arcs, I would call it a 2 out of 10. There is no way in hell I'm reading this again. And most likely, I think editorial hopefully will forget about this and try to retcon, at the very least, either Kang back to life or Ben back to the hoodie. I don't know. I, again, this just feels like Vegas but worse. It feels like Jackal but worse. Um, for Ben Riley fans and people who actually do cosplay him, I don't anymore, as you can tell um throughout this event um for people who really do respect uh the 90s years of ben uh this is the biggest character assassination he has done uh since clone, clone conspiracy at the very least so um i don't know where to recover from this i don't know where fans are going to recover from this i don't even know where this character is going to recover from this because he's stuck in limbo in the embassy half now so like either he reforms gets all the evil out of his system because they did that in a spider-man event i think during spider again but that's really it i feel like ben being evil should be temporary i feel like him lashing out is more like an anger thing and more importantly i feel like that's a cane thing um before i get to the end cards this is my last minute um pitch of what would have really been uh chasm because i never thought it was ben i never thought it was ben at all i never thought beyond had the resources to get ben i, th I think ben was always dead but and this is going to be stupid, even for me saying this out loud. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was Spider Side, because for those who are reading the the, the spiritual successor run to um, uh, Demon Tays's version of uh, Ben when he was Spider Man, he came back and it got me thinking, what if it's Spider Side? What if it's him just magically forgetting the members, given that he's more goo than Spider Person or Peter Clone, and it's like it's getting hard to like. Mi mi uh, mi well, I can't do words at this late. Uh, manipularly, uh, be literally everything at once, but I don't know. That, just, that, that I thought it would be cool. I thought that was a good, at least, explanation to how Ben became Chasm. I feel like it was, like, Spire Side that became the goo and just wanted to screw with Ben's memories and say, hey, remember me? I'm the third clone. I'm the, I'm the middle child nobody remembers kind of thing. I thought that would have been cool. But, um, yeah, I guess pitching that at the 11th hour of a already wrapped up story sounded a lot better than, um, in this video so anyway um i know it's a bit of a downer for most spider-man fans um i'm trying i'm gonna try to pick it back up uh probably later this year when uh, across the spider-verse comes out and um yeah to marvel uh editorial and comics division uh for a character you guys don't like uh he's still getting figures in this hoodie there's a reason why i, I go look for that if i was you anyway my half rants aside uh end cards finally coming up to my Previous videos, which I haven't really done in a while, because moving between rooms, all, not really offices, but more or less moving places around the house is pretty weird for my channel as far as the first half of this year goes. First hand card here to my uh, Vox Machina first half of the season two uh, review. I am going to do the back, I'm going to do the middle half hopefully later this uh, this week, so I'll catch up in time for the finale. Uh, other half, uh, other hand here to my Schwartz players, which also, like I said in most of my content earlier this year, has slowly been coming into CR content. Um, I really wanted to turn this into a quick short, but I had a lot to say about Dark Web, and that's probably why. Uh, not at all Hellfire shirt to, I guess, represent um, Inferno in some way, I guess, X-Men-wise, uh, to sub to the channel, notification bell down below. Uh, community tab, um, if I want to leave a, a poll for you guys of what did you what do you think if this was a good story or not? I'll probably leave that later down the road, uh, this week uh this weekend. Anyway, that all being said, I am rambling than usual. Uh, retro care, retro care reviews and uh yeah for rambling back into the house or at least in this uh office, uh for the year is a good exercise into hopefully better things to come. And uh, if you saw some of the figures lined up, uh yeah. I'm going to finally talk about James Gunn's version of DC. That's my spoiler for uh, Sunday content. So with that all being said, take care, subscribe, and um, hey, Marvel, um, can I have Ben back as Scarlet Spider or, or Kane or them as a tag team book? You know, you know, you can do I, I know you can do it, Marvel. I know you can do it, Nick Lowe. Please.